Hi! Welcome back to my channel! Our guests for today are Gon, Hilua, Kurapika, and Leorio from the anime Hunter x Hunter. They will help us in our today's lesson. In our previous lessons, we had an introduction regarding the literary elements in our lesson number 13. We discussed elements of a plot in lesson number 14 and major elements of a narrative in our lesson number 15. If you fail to watch our videos about it, I put its link in the description box below. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you are not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, I present to you the vocabulary words that you will encounter in our discussion. Try to match the words to their correct definition in the left column. I'll give you a moment to think about your answers. Time's up! Here are the correct answers. Before we proceed with our story about Hunter x Hunter, remember that you should listen to the story very carefully and I want you to have a pen and paper with you because you need to list down all the names of the characters in the story. The story follows a young boy named Gon Freaks who was told all his life that both his parents were dead but when he learns from Kite, an apprentice of his father Ging Freaks that he is still alive and has since become an accomplished hunter, Gon leaves his home on Whale Island to take the hunter examination in order to become a hunter like him. During the exam, Gon meets and soon befriends three of the other applicants, Kurapika, the last remaining member of the Kurta clan, who wishes to become a hunter in order to avenge his clan and recover their scarlet glowing eyes that were plucked from their corpses by a band of thieves known as the Phantom Troop. Leorio, a prospective physician who, in order to pay for medical school, desires the financial benefits that hunters receive. And Kilua Soldip, another 12-year-old boy who has left his former life as a member of the world's notorious assassin family. Among many other examinees, Gon continuously encounters Hisoka, a mysterious and deadly transmuter who takes an interest in him. After passing by many trials together, Gon and his friends end up passing the exam except for Kilua who fails after killing another applicant due to being controlled by his brother Illumi and runs away to his family's estate in shame. After Gon and the others convince Kilua to rejoin their side, Leorio and Kurapika depart temporarily for their own personal reasons. While Gon and Kilua set for the Heavens Arena, a skyscraper where thousands of martial artists compete daily in fighting tournaments seeking to improve themselves and gain monetary rewards. There they meet a Kung Fu master named Wing who trains them in utilizing Nen, a key-like life energy used by its practitioners to manifest parapsychological abilities and is also considered to be final requirements to pass the hunter exam. Some time later, Gon and his friends reunite again in York, New City where they have a clash with the Phantom Troop. During the occasion, two from the band of thieves are killed by Kurapika and he is forced to give up the chance of hunting down the rest in order to rescue Gon and Kilua, who were captured by them, but not without succeeding in sealing the powers of their leader, Krolo Lucifer. A few days later, Gon and Kilua achieve their objective and begin playing Grid Island, an extremely rare and expensive video game with Nen-like properties following some clues about Ging whereabouts. While exploring the game, it is revealed that its scenario is actually set somewhere in the real world created with Nen by none other than Ging himself. Outclassed by the difficulty of the challenges in the game at first, they are soon joined and trained by Biscuit Kruger, an experienced teacher of Nen and Kung Fu Master. With the help of Biscuit, Gon and Kilua train their Nen and learn to shape their abilities to their traits. 
During their stay on Reed Island, Pilua takes a short break to apply for the Hunter examination again. This time passes with success. The trio then complete the game together against all odds and Gon obtains the right to choose the artifact from the game necessary to reunite with his father. However, Gon decides to have Kilua accompany him to meet his father using the artifacts but they send them to meet Kite instead. The duo then decide to help with Kite's research and upon discovering a giant insect limb, the group discovers that it came from a man-sized chimera and queen, an insect that devours other creatures and then gives birth to progeny that inherit the characteristics of the different species it has eaten. The queen washes up onto an island nation called the Neo Green Life or NGL autonomous region where she quickly develops a taste for humans and builds a colony powerful enough to overcome the population especially after her offspring learn the power of Nen after consuming some hunters. Upon facing the royal guard of the Chimera Ants, Kite sacrifices himself to allow Gon and Kilua to flee and alert the hunter association. After weeks of preparation, the association sends a team of some of their most powerful hunters including Netero, the president of the association himself to defeat the ants and their king, Murem, whose subject secretly overthrew the government of the nearby Republic of East Gotteru as part of their plan of subduing all of mankind. Despite losing to Murem in combat, Netero ends up killing him with a bomb implanted in his body that poisons him to death soon after. In the occasion, Gon has a showdown with Neferfito, the ant who killed Kite and despite having accepted this, revenge is hospitalized and in critical condition. After the Chimera Ant incident is resolved, the Hunter Association's top echelons, the Sojaks, from which Ging is a member, begin the process of choosing Netero's replacement as chairman, while Kilua returns home to ask for his younger sister Aloka to save Gon's life. However, his family is unwilling to risk losing Aluka or having her dangerous powers used against them. But after evading his older brother's Illumis attempts to intercept him, Kilua manages to bring Aluka to Gon's side and have him fully re recovered. Before sealing her powers completely to ensure that she can have a normal life, Kilua then part ways with Gon as he wants to travel the world with Aluka who had never seen the outside world before while Gon himself finally meets his father and learns the true nature of his quest. The characters in our short story about Hunter x Hunter are Gon Freaks, Kite, King Freaks, Kurapika, Phantom Troop, Leorio, Kilua Zoldik, Hisuka, Illumi, Wing, Trollo Lucifer, Biscuit, Kruger, Chimera and Queen, Royal Guard, of the Chimera Ants, Netero, Murem, Neferpito, the Sodiacs, Aluka, and the Zoldic family. There are different kinds of characters in a story. 1. Protagonist 2. Anti-hero 3. Antagonist 4. Villain 5. Foil 6. Confident 7. Dynamic 8. Static 9. Round 10 flat and 11 stock character. Protagonist is the central figure around whom the story revolves. Throughout the story, we will watch him or her or them face conflicts that may be resolved and make key decisions that move the story forward. Protagonists are often heroic. The anti-hero can also be the main character in a story but lacks in sound moral judgment. An antagonist is the opposite of your protagonist. They will oppose your main character. They will, along with the main character, be the driving force behind the plot. Villain is similar to the antagonist, but they are evil. They have evil actions and motives that drive the plot. A foil character is someone who is the opposite of another character. They reflect the opposite traits. This contrast provides the reader with a better understanding of each character. For example, if the protagonist is loyal, brave, and morally sound, each of those qualities will be augmented every time we read more about the foil who's disloyal, cowardly, and selfish. A confident is someone or something the main character trusts a secret or private matter. Readers can learn a lot from the main character's personality and thoughts through this. A dynamic character, also known as developing character, is someone who changes throughout the story. This may be a good change or a bad one, but their motivations, desires, or even their personality changes due to something in the story. This is usually a permanent change and shows 
how the character has learned and developed over time in the story. In contrast to a dynamic character, a static character does not change over time. They might be consistently wise or harsh. On the other hand, a round character is someone with a complex personality. They are neither overtly kind nor innately cruel. They might act inconsistently rather than follow a smooth arc. A flat character is the opposite of the round character. These characters may be overtly kind or inanely cruel, and it shows. When you think of a flat character, you'll immediately perceive one characteristic and that will essentially define who they are. And finally, stuck characters, also known as archetypes, are the ones that get repeated time and time again. They are not a big deal in the story. Gon Fricks is our protagonist. The plot of the story mainly revolves around him. We can say that Kite is a flat character because he has a deep concern to his comrades and it was shown when he sacrificed his life to save Gon and Kilua. King Fricks is a static character because he consistently stays away from Gon even he has the capability of meeting him. Instead, he focuses on his quest as a hunter. We can say that Kurapika and Leorio are confident characters because Gon trusts them. The Phantom Troop, their leader Chloro Lucifer, Murem, the royal guards of the Chimera Ants, and Neferpito are the villains because they are evil. Meanwhile, we can say that Kilua Soldic has a big role in our story. At first, we can treat him as an anti-hero because he lacks in moral judgment since he was raised from an assassin family. Then, after meeting Gon, he became a dynamic character. He changed for the better. He is also a confident because Gon trusts him the most. Thus, he is always with him until they go separate ways later on. On the other hand, we can treat Hisoka as a foil character. He is the complete opposite of Gon, while Illumi is the antagonist. Even though he's the elder brother of Kilua, he did control him and try to stop him from getting Aluka. Furthermore, as being the mentor to Gon and Kilua, Wing and Biscuit Kruger are static characters in our story. They are consistently wise. Same with Netero. He's also consistently wise and strong as he was the chairman of the Hunter Association. The Chimera Ant Queen is definitely a villain in the story, but we can treat her as a stock character because she was really not big deal in the story unlike her son, Murem. The Sojaks, since they were only mentioned in the latter part of the story, we can treat them as stock characters. They maybe have no big deal in our story, but I believe that they will play a big role in the Dark Continent arc of Hunter x Hunter. Finally, Aloka and the Zoltic family are our round characters. Aloka may be kind because she cured Gon but she's also scary due to her power that even her own family, the Soldics, fear her. That's why even though Kilua is a member of their family, they stop him from getting Aloka. Remember that the different kinds of characters in a story are Protagonist, Anti-Hero, Antagonist, Villain, Foil, Confident, Dynamic, Static, Round, Flat, and stock. Now let's have an activity. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For our activity, you're going to read each sentence, then choose in the box the word that it describes. I'll give you a minute to do this. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video. Time's up! Here's the answer key for our today's activity. For me to know if you really learned in our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For our today's seat work, you're going to identify the word that is being described in each sentence. I'll give you a minute to do this. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video.
time's up. Let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. set i hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson i hope that now you know the different kinds of characters in a story please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work if you pass i'll post a shout out of you in our next video speaking of shout out as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos i would like to post a shout out to the following people Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!